Good morning, everyone. Morning, Bernadette. Hello. <laughs> My name is Bernadie Barwise. I am from Backabuddy. I'm the social media manager. Uh, we've got going to get a clarity. She'll be uh, getting up this presentation. And I'll be in the comments and I'll also just be around for if you need anything. And yeah, really excited. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Bernadie. Are you able to admit people? Can I just yes. let you do that for me, please? 100%. Asa. No problem. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep my camera off for connection purposes just to make sure that you guys are able to hear me. But uh, we are going to start now just to introduce myself. I am Lakiwe Blekiwe, and I am the head of charities at Baker Party. Well, that's for those who do not know me because I believe most of our charities already know who I am. I started working here at Wicked Party, I think, four years ago. And I've worked in various departments uh, since we started. But yeah, it's been an, an amazing journey, and I'm very excited to be part of uh, this amazing organization. So you guys are probably thinking, uh, what does Wicked Party have to do with uh, affiliate marketing? Who is Shop the Nation? Well, that's what we are about to break down for you. Well, uh, this is how this partnership came about. Our lovely uh, GCO, Catherine, uh, 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 connected with Kasten, who is on the call and who will be actually doing this presentation for us from Shop the Nation. They started having a conversation about affiliate marketing and how um, they assist uh, charities to raise funds, which is what we are all about here at Baker Body ways to help charities and non-profit organizations to raise funds and Catherine thought it would be an amazing idea for our charities and that is how this workshop today came about so um you guys are probably thinking what is that how does it work well just to put it simple say for example one of your donors purchases flowers for 600 rent from net florist net florist will donate 36 run of the purchase to your organization the donor does not have to pay more. The donor does not have to do anything extra. The net florist does the donate the, the, the donating to your organization and you get something without having to ask your donors to give more. Or you could be just booking um, a, mm. a, a hotel for December or for December holidays on booking.com and your organization get a certain percentage from that booking. Or uh, one of your donors could be buying a pair of jeans from Cotton On. Your organization get a certain percentage from that purchase without having to ask your donors for more. Well, so, she uh, affiliate marketing. Uh -huh. Okay. Affiliate marketing has been working uh, in many other countries for many years. For example, um, in the USA, they've got what they call goodshop.com. And they've raised over 18 million rand in over 18 years. Uh, so they are averaging around $1 million in donations per year. And they support over 100 causes. So with that, at a time for South African NGOs to diversify the country as well and use affiliate marketing as one of their ways to raise funds for their nonprofit organizations. And I'm obviously not an expert on this, and our lovely Kirsten will take you through the how. Over to you, Kirsten. Thanks very much, Lucky, for that great introduction. I'll just put my camera on quickly so that everyone can see my face. So I am Kirsten Liang. I am the director of Shop Donation South Africa. And as Lucky like has said, we use affiliate marketing in order to generate donations for causes, any social projects. It can also be a sports club, a school, an NGO foundation, or a crowdfunding initiative. So we're really open to all sorts of social projects to be able to use our, um, our platform. Can I just ask if everyone can keep their microphone on mute just so that the sound is clear for everyone? Thank you. 
I'm going to quickly share my screen for you. I'll just go through a little bit about what shop donation is. So I'll just switch off my camera for connection purposes. All right, so I hope you can all see my screen clearly. All right. Yes, so I'm first going to. Screencast. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Lucky. I'm first just going to explain a little bit about what shop donation is, <laughs> and then we'll also go through how you can use it to raise funds. And I'll walk you through the platform as well from the perspective of a shopper. We'll also go through from the perspective of a cause. So if you do have any questions along the way, please make a note of them or you can write them in the chat and I will address them after. All right. Okay. So firstly, just some background on the platform. So Shop Donation is, in essence, a website that links through to different online stores, affiliate stores that we have a partnership with. And these stores are both local and international. So there are some international ones that are offering different software or, um, for example, with hotel bookings, flight bookings, that kind of thing. And then a lot of stores which are local where people will buy um, clothing or toiletries, household items, that kind of thing. And those are physical items that will be shipped in South Africa. So there, there are a different, a range of different stores that people can choose from, and we will go through all of that on the website itself. It is completely free for causes and shoppers. So as Lucky spoke about the example with NetFlorist, when somebody goes through shop donation first, and then they link through to NetFlorist and make their purchase, it's exactly the same amount that they would pay if they went directly to NetFlorist. So the shopper doesn't pay anything extra. Where the money comes from, the donation comes from, is the commission that NetFlorist pays us for bringing them a shopper. So this is how affiliate marketing works. It is kind of like a reward system for them to encourage people to advertise them, basically. It's a, a kind of marketing strategy. And so we receive that commission and we turn that commission into a donation. We pass that commission forward to the cause that the shopper chooses on the shop donation website. So the cause doesn't pay anything extra either to receive this money. There is no platform thing or anything like that. So you will receive those donations. And it's always either a percentage of the purchase amount or a fixed amount that is decided from the retailer. So we have no control over how much the donation percentage is. This is something that is decided already by the shop themselves. So the retailer decides they want to give, for example, 2.1%. Booking.com always gives 2.1% of the purchase amount for the what, whatever the, the person is booking, whether that's a hotel or a flight or, or any kind of service through booking.com. With NetFlorist, they always give 6% of the purchase amount. And with Travel Start, they have a fixed amount of 63 Rand per purchase. So that doesn't change depending on the amount that a person spends. So all of this is dependent on the retailer. And this is also clear on the website. So I will show you that when we do the walkthrough everyone will be able to see very clearly the donation amount that they will be able to generate through their purchase at a particular store before they make that purchase. All right. I also want to just share that we are part of an international network. So Shop Donation is actually a franchise and we started in the Netherlands. My partner is actually the founder of Shop Donation International. He is Dutch, so he started his Dutch platform a few years ago and saw that it was successful there and wanted to see if he could bring this system 
to other countries. And so I was really enthusiastic to bring this to South Africa. And there's great potential in South Africa because there is no other platform like this that is being used in South Africa yet. So as Lucky showed us before, there are some examples in the US and in other countries abroad. But in South Africa, we don't have this kind of shopping and donating system yet. So we're really wanting to bring this uh, to the South African market. And once we have this international connection established on our website, which is coming up in a few months time, we will be able to have all of the causes on all of these international platforms of shop donation as well. And what that means for you as a cause is that if you have a following in the Netherlands as well, maybe you have some supporters, donors, friends or family in these other countries abroad, you can register your cause on those platforms as well. And people can shop and donate for you in those countries too. So that's really an amazing opportunity to receive funds from abroad. And as we know, the, the conversion can be very favorable if you're receiving pounds or euros or dollars and then that is coming into your South African account. So that can also go a longer way, which, which will be nice. So I'm sure the question on everyone's mind is, how much can I actually raise from a platform like this? So as I've said before, the amount that is raised as the donation really depends on the doors commission that they give. And I'm not sure if it's too small. Um, we might be able to see it better later when we go through the website. But on the image where we have all of the store logos, underneath it has a green percentage amount. So that is the donation that each of these shops will give. And the, there's basically two factors that we have to take into account when trying to calculate or or think about how much we can raise with affiliate marketing and with this kind of online shopping model. So firstly, because it is a percentage of the purchase amount, this will depend on how much the shopper is actually spending. So if it's a very big purchase, if you're booking a flight or you're booking a business trip and it's a, a hotel booking for multiple people, something like that, if your spend amount is very large, of course, the proportional donation will also be larger than if somebody is buying just one T-shirt from Mr. Price, right? So we have to think about how much people are going to be spending and also how much the shop themselves gives. So when it comes to that percentage amount with 6% in net florist, that's obviously more than 2.4% with booking.com. So there's also a variation there. And just to give you some examples of big purchases, they are possible. Um, and on the right on the bottom, you can see here there was a purchase that was made at booking.com. And this was almost 65,000 Rand. This was probably a, a large hotel booking. And so that generated a donation of 1,557 Rand just from making an extra click. So this was not any money that someone had to, to fork out themselves. They were going to make this purchase on booking.com anyway. And just because they went through shop donation and they selected hashtag nonprofit here to support. So just through that click, there was a donation of 1,500 Rand generated through that. So it is incredible to be able to show how a system like this is, it feels like free money, it feels like too good to be true, but it's really just showing the power of affiliate marketing and the power of leveraging this kind of um, system. And so I want to give you another example from our Dutch website. You can see that on the bottom left, hopefully it's clear enough. And this was a purchase of over 8,000 euros. And this purchase was at Expedia, so probably also some kind of hotel or um, travel type of booking. And this raised a donation of 566 euros. So that's around 11,000 Rand, again, just with one click. So these two examples are really extraordinary examples. These are big purchases. And this is not what you would expect from 
people's everyday purchases, right? We're also not trying to encourage people to shop more. It's really not about shopping so that people can donate. It's more to identify if you are going to make a booking at booking.com anyway, or you know you're going to go to one of these stores to make your purchases, especially if you want to do that online and you want it to be delivered to you, why not just do that through shop donation first and you can choose the cause you want to support and generate a donation without having to pay anything extra. So it's really a way for us to leverage the, the online shopping that is happening anyway. And especially now it's Black Friday next week and Christmas is coming next month also summertime so many people will have leave and maybe go on holiday so this is really a time where people are shopping more in general and to be able to just give them this suggestion or this, this opportunity to support you when they do those purchases it can be a really great way to to get some additional income for your cause during a season which sometimes a lot of people don't have extra to to give out of pocket because they are budgeting for a lot more spending around the festive season. So it's really a win-win. It can enable them to still feel like they're supporting you over this time, but they don't have to think about breaking the bank while doing it. If anyone has any questions, please um, write them in the chat or keep them aside and we will respond to all of the questions after just to make everything a little bit easier. There might be some questions that are answered as we go through. So I want to now just share with you what the shop donation website look like, especially go through how to use it practically as a shopper. So we'll see now we are on the home page. This is shopdonation.co.za. So I hope everyone can see this clearly. And what we will see is there, there are three steps on the top that explains how to raise a donation basically first find the cause that you want to support second you choose the store that you would like to shop at and then you make your purchase and the donation will be generated so it's very important for people to understand that you cannot go to the store first so the way that affiliate marketing works is we earn the commission because someone went to our platform before going to their website so it's it's not that if somebody sees, oh, we are affiliated with Booking.com, I can just go on Booking.com and make my purchase and that will generate a donation. It won't work that way because everything happens through tracking and those stores need to track from their end that through certain purchases that come in, they can see that that customer was sent from Shop Donation and they also, or we also need to see who the shopper wants to support. So that is also all tracked in our system. So it's very important for people to go through shop donation first or to your cause link. So you'll get a specific shop donation link when you sign up as a cause. And when people go through that link, it will automatically select your cause as their default cause that they are going to support. So that's vital. If they're not selecting your cause, then you won't receive those donations. So you can see here, there is a default cause already selected. We call this the cause of the month. So every month we select one cause to highlight for that month and just give them a little bit more exposure and the opportunity to receive a few more donations. If somebody went to Shop Donations through your causes link, so shopdonation.co.za forward slash WWF, for example, if that's your foundation, people will then arrive with WWF already selected here as their cause, so they won't see the cause of the month. If a person wants to change their cause, then they can do so here. They can click select a different cause, or they can go to step one, find your cause, or the causes page. So these are all just going to the overview of causes. If somebody is happy with this cause that is selected they can already go to step two to choose an online store so i'll just show what the home page looks like there are also different categories that people can choose from so if someone arrives on shop donation and they know that they want to make a clothing purchase but they're not sure which stores are affiliated with us and 
you know, which they can make the donation through, then it can be useful for them to use these categories to see which stores are affiliated. We also have a list here of some of the top or recently visited stores. So someone could also arrive on the shop donation page with your cause selected. So they come through your link and they could just scroll down here. And if they know they always shop at NetFlorist, NetFlorist should be there. Um, very easy for them to, to just click through to. If we would like to select a different cause, I'll just show you what the causes overview looks like. So this is all of the courses that are listed on the website and overview of them. There are also different categories. So if someone arrives at shop donation and they want to support, for example, an animal project, they can click on that category and it will filter out the causes that are associated with that category. If we wanted to find out more information about a cause, we could simply click on the image and it will load the information page of that cause. So when you sign up, you will fill in your description about your cause and this is where people will be able to see that. You also put your logo image and the, the different categories that your cause falls under. So let's say, for example, I decide I want to support Love to Give rather than Santa Shoebox Project. I'll simply select this cause and you'll see it has changed the default cause up here on my cause bar. And it has also automatically directed me to step to the stores page. So we will find this page also if we just click on stores on the top here. So here we see an overview of all of the stores. Again, we have categories that people can go through on the left. And you can also use the search bar here or in the top search bar. Both of these work if you want to search for a particular store name or a particular item. So if you're looking to buy a hat, for example, you can type hat and the stores that have that will, um, will come up there. So if I also wanted to get more information about a particular store, again, I can click on the icon and it will give me more information. It will also tell me the donation percentage here that I will generate. And you might have seen on this overview page that it says maximum donation. This is because there are some stores, for example, with Faithful to Nature and AliExpress who have different commissions that they pay for different actions. So here, if you make a purchase at Faithful to Nature, 4.2% of the purchase amount will become the donation. But if you decide that you just want to sign up for their newsletter, for example, or do any other opt-in action, that will generate 2 around 70 for that lead. So there, there's a variation in the types of commissions that they pay, and that's just why there's a breakdown here. And on the, on the overview page, you'll see that it says maximum. 90% of the stores just have one set percentage. So usually the percentage that you see is the percentage that will become your donation. But if you want to double check that, you can always just click into the, the store description. All right, so if I'm now happy with the store that I want to go to, for example, I want to visit booking.com, I can select shop now and there's a pop-up here which is quite important for people to just read through for the first time that they're using shop donation to understand why some donations might not come through or some tracking might go wrong because of any ad blocking software or vpns that are being used so the the big thing that we spoke about before with affiliate marketing is that it all goes through a tracking link. So the code is very important and it's very important for the shop to see that this click was made from shop donation and they're supporting a particular cause. If we have ad blocking software on or a VPN or we don't accept third party cookies when we arrive on that website, a lot of the tracking might go wrong. So we might it might block the fact that 
this has been a link through from another website or it might block the fact that they are supporting you as a cause in the tracking. So this is important, but it's it's not very difficult to understand because most people maybe won't have installed all of these kinds of ad blocking softwares or VPNs if they're not very tech savvy. The average person just going through will, will be fine. But if someone is quite tech savvy, they would know if they have any of this on. So you don't have to worry about that too much. There are some incidences where people know that they make a purchase and they don't receive the confirmation. Um, and then they can always reach out to us and we'll double check on our end. And we can sometimes still get that donation. We, even if there was some kind of software blocking, we can explain um, that you know we have evidence that that person went through the website. So it's not to worry about too much, but just something that is important for people to understand. So once that is clear, then we click go to web shop and it's going to open in a new tab. So I'm going to click this and then share the new tab. So you'll see here it is redirecting you to booking.com and 2.4% of the booking amount will be your donation. So this is an automatic redirect. I don't have to do anything as a shopper right now. And then you will see that it becomes the booking.com homepage. So the prices that you see here should be exactly the same to the prices that you would see usually. I'm saying should with booking.com because we have a disclaimer on the website that they have an algorithm which fluctuates if you are using your mobile phone or if you're logged in or if you're not. There's all kinds of things with, with um, booking.com where they might have some kind of price fluctuations. That has nothing to do with them coming through shop donation. It's just something on their end that, that might fluctuate. But with most shops, uh, we can say basically all shops except for booking.com, the price that you see on the website going directly is exactly the same to the price that you will see if you go through shop donation. So it really doesn't make any difference to the shopper. And after I make my purchase, if I have logged in as a shopper, if I've made an account, I will receive a confirmation email within 24 hours to just confirm that my donation has been generated and the cause will also receive a confirmation email. So causes always receive that those emails so they can kind of keep track of the donations that are coming in without having to go into their, uh, their shop donation account manually. All right, so now that we hopefully have a good overview of the, the shop donation platform from the perspective of a shopper. I would like to ask Lucky if you want to pretend to be a cause and see what the process is to sign up as a cause. So I can guide you through that and you can ask any questions along the way. So what you would of first course. do is to... Just, yes. I guess then you think we should just um, uh, go through the questions first, then we, we take them okay. through the... Um, Process. Let's just Good go idea. through the questions because there are a lot of, of questions Then we can take them from the floor as well. Uh, but I will read through the, the ones that um, are in the chat. So the first one was, um, how, do, how do you market shop donation? Is it online shopping only? This one is from Venda Harris. How do you sorry, market they, it? Sorry, can I just say something? They're two different questions. They're two okay. different oh, questions. Okay. The first one is, how do you market shop donation? And the second question is, is it an online shopping platform only? Yes, okay. So with the second question, yes, this is only online shopping. So you might be familiar with the My School, My Village, My Planet card. That is a kind of a similar concept, but that is physical shopping, right? You go to Woolworths, swipe your card, it's a physical purchase. With shop donation, this doesn't work with any physical stores because again everything is through the tracking that happens through affiliate marketing it's completely online so this only um, works for online shopping if someone went physically to cotton on or to mr price they wouldn't be able to to do this donation um so it's 
yeah, unfortunately, only for online shopping. But as we know, e-commerce is really picking up, especially since COVID. A lot more people are comfortable with shopping online. It's a lot more convenient. And there are more shops that are joining affiliate marketing. So something I didn't mention before is that we are limited to having the shops that participate in affiliate marketing. So at the moment, for example, Take A Lot does not do affiliate marketing. That's why we don't have them on the website. But in future, I'm pretty sure that they will join affiliate marketing because Amazon is coming to South Africa next year. Amazon does affiliate marketing, so we'll be able to have them on the website. And in order to stay competitive, I think Take A Lot will need to incorporate that into their kind of marketing strategy. So this is um, yeah something that I think is really growing, even though people typically shop in store more, especially in South Africa. But in the future, when we see the trends that have happened in Europe and in the US, majority of people actually shop online. So it's really something that we can we can establish now and ride that wave of e-commerce growth in South Africa. And then for your other question, Vanda, how do you market shop donation? We're going to go through that a little bit after um, Lucky signs up as a cause, and I want to show you exactly the steps that you would use to do that. Um, but we have a lot of, um, well, I'll show you later, but we have a, a lot of resources that you can use already on the shop donation website under our promotions page. So there's a whole toolkit that I'll walk you through. And um, yeah, the, it's, it's very easy. It's mostly just to share your link and to explain to people that this is another way that they can support you. And it works very well if you already have a newsletter going out to your donors or your supporters or any social media channels. It's very easy to just add this as another way that people can support you if they like. Yes, Landa. Sorry, Kirsten. Um, just for clarity, not how would I market it as a nonprofit? How do you as an organization market your brand? Okay, got you. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, it is actually very much through causes. So we are very similar to Backer Buddy. We're really wanting to support causes to be able to use this fundraising tool. And what we've noticed with the Dutch platform, so initially, um, when my partner launched dillshop.nl, which is the Dutch version of Shop Donation, he went on the radio and he did a lot of interviews on news outlets and everything. And majority of people were obviously enthusiastic about the idea, but a very few people would actually use the website. And those few people who did were the ones that were already associated with cause that was on shop donation so we found that because it's something that people really have to remember it's not intuitive because it's a new kind of system people need to have this core association that they really want to support a specific cause when they do the shopping so it's much more effective for us actually to go through the causes to get as many causes on board as possible to learn how to use this model and through that we can encourage more and more shoppers to use the website and the shoppers mostly being the supporters and the the donors of the causes themselves and later we do have big plans to obviously have more um, general marketing towards just the south african public people who are wanting to shop and do good at the same time it can be a great way for people to know this is an option but for now we found that the most successful uh, strategy is really to to leverage the causes and the communities that you already have because this is something that people need to be very passionate about supporting someone to, to change their daily habits. I hope that makes sense. Yes, Amanda. Well, if it's a lesser known charity, so I mean, obviously things like Santa's Shoebox and I don't know, Red Cross, things like that have huge mm -hmm. followings, and huge awareness. So if it's a smaller charity, would it still work? Definitely. We've actually found that the bigger charities don't they don't actually use the platform as much because they for them 
it's a smaller trickle of donations, right? And for smaller charities, we've actually found that it works the best because they are the most engaged when it comes to reminding their supporters to use this method. And for people who are also family and friends that are really engaged in wanting to, to really raise as much as possible and have these small actions that change. So when it comes to the the size of the cause, I think don't worry about that when it comes to the the amount of followers. It's more actually about the closeness and the how engaged your followers are with you. And um, something to really keep in mind with the, the value of something like shop donation is it's very similar to a structural donor when somebody adopts this habit of shopping for you. So if someone knows they always make toiletry purchases from Faithful to Nature, for example, which I do. <laughs> so um, every few months, I know that I need to, to buy new things from there. And a lot of those products I can't actually get from Clicks or Dischem or something like that. So I know that this is a way that I can support a cause when doing that shopping. And I've made that association between Faithful to Nature and shop donation. And this is an association that is very important because once someone always remembers, okay, if I do my booking.com purchase or if I do my NetFlorist purchase, I think about Vanda's cause and I'm going to go through her link and support her. You've basically secured a, a structural donation without having to, to do anything extra because once it's a habit, people will continue to do it when they see that it works. And then it, it becomes passive income basically for you. And that's really my, my hope for everyone that they can use this platform as a source of eventually passive income for your course so that you don't actually have to remind people all the time, every day. It's really something that over shopping seasons, over certain times when you know that people are more engaged, to just remind them this is another way to to support us and once people are adopting that habit it, it really is an automated system great all right shall we go through some of the other questions so from label hung how many stores can one choose so this this is um not limited at all when you are going on to shop donation so you need to do it every time you make the purchase. You can't just do it once and then after that go to any store directly, again, because of this tracking process. So every time you want to make a purchase, you first go through the Causes Shop Donation link and then you decide for that purchase, I'm going to make a purchase now at Cotton On. Maybe next week you're making a purchase through YouCook or one of the other stores. So every time you're making a purchase, you go through shop donation and it doesn't matter which shops you choose it, as long as they are on that list and you're linking through to that shop then that's perfect all right a question from cindy is there a link that can be created for a specific npo organization yes so we're going to see that when lucky signs up as a cause um once you sign up you receive a specific link and you decide what you want your slug your uh, part of your link to be so it will always be shopdonation.co.za forward slash and then the name that you want to give your link usually it will just be the name of your foundation or your project and once you have signed up you can immediately use that link so that link will exist on the website and will be associated with your cause. All of the information that you filled in will come up. So it's, it's really an instant process and you can already then click through to a shop, make a purchase and you will have generated a donation already for your cause. Okay, so another question of how can this benefit an NGO? So for an NGO, I'm not sure if you're talking about specifically an NGO versus a, another type of nonprofit. But for, for anyone who is looking to raise more funds, this can benefit them just because it's another way for people to, to basically donate for you 
without them having to pay anything extra. So it's tapping into a slightly different model of donation. It's something that is through someone's habit that they're doing anyway, like shopping online. And it can be something that, as I've said, it becomes this kind of passive stream of in income that is accumulating in the background for you. So you don't have to think too much about it later. It's something that you can have in addition to the other donation streams that you already do work on. Um, does the NGO, oh, sorry, does the NGO pay anything to join shop donation? No. So there is no cost to anyone to join shop donation. Um, NGOs don't pay anything. It's completely free. And if you at any time decide that you want to deregister from the platform, that's perfectly fine. You can let us know and we'll take your project off the platform, delete all of your data. So we're really not here to hold any of your information. It's very important to us that your privacy is protected as well. And I know that some people are also perhaps wary about putting things like bank account details on online on shop donation. So we'll see when you register as a cause, there are um, fields to fill in for your banking details that you want us to pay your donations out to. If you are not comfortable filling that in on the websites, that's absolutely fine. You just need to put dummy characters in. And every time before it is the payout period, and I'll explain the payout process a little bit later, I will email each cause and just verify that these, these are the bank details you want to use or you can um, yeah, invoice that directly in, in that way so you don't have to worry about you know, maybe putting your details on the website and feeling insecure about that. I can tell you though it is completely safe um, and that is data that we definitely don't, don't show with anyone. It doesn't connect to the stores at all. So the purchases that you make, all of that goes through the stores themselves and we don't deal with any of that. So the bank account details that you put on your cause um, registration form, that is just for us to see when we are going to pay you out the donations. Um, but again, don't worry about that too much if you don't feel good about that in the beginning. Uh, are there plans to create a shop donation app in the future? Yes, definitely. Um, we are also wanting to create a browser plugin, which will be very helpful because in that way, every time you go onto any affiliated stores, you will have a pop-up that says, did you know you could uh, go through shop donation and make a, a donation while doing this purchase? So it would remind you before you actually make that purchase um, at that store so that will be very helpful because again as i said it's really something people need to remember and adopt this habit um, but when it comes to an app we definitely want to create the app it's something that we are also needing to establish more when it comes to funds on our side um, but there, there are some complications with some stores when it comes to the tracking with an app so that's also sometimes an issue and we really need to make sure that it will run smoothly before we do it through an app. You can still use your phone. Um, so you can make mobile purchases, but using a browser. Um, so most of the stores, for example, I'm not sure if Cotton On has an app, but if they did, it wouldn't work to go through the Cotton On app. You would have to go through Shop Donation click on Cotton On and it will take you to the Cotton On browser page. It won't take you to the app because that's how we keep the tracking and they again receive that information that they need to, to send the commissions so that you receive those donations. Um, can this be used for a once off fundraiser event? So technically it can, but what I feel is not as intuitive is because Again, we are not wanting to force people to shop more. I think when it comes to a, having a target in a short amount of time, it's, it's actually better for people to just donate to you directly in the channels that they usually would or to use Bakabadi for that. Um, when it comes to the shopping habits of people, that's usually something, I mean, especially in South Africa, we're not 
we're not shopping every day online, right? It's um, a little bit different to, to how people do it maybe in other parts of the world. So it's not really something that you can accumulate a large amount of funds in a short amount of time. The goal is really to have this be something that is happening consistently throughout the year. And when you get those payouts, you are getting um, that those funds, but it's not, you know, we have one week and we want to secure a certain target because I think for to force people to shop in order to create the donation in a short amount of time, it, it doesn't really work that well. And it's better for them to just donate to you um, yeah, in the usual ways. Uh, another question I noticed in the registration process, it asks if you have a WISE account, but when you register for a WISE account, it says they do not offer services to trust or charities from South Africa. Do you have any comments on how to get around this? Good question. So the reason why we've made different options like WISE, PayPal, um, is because of the international connection that I spoke about earlier. So we are anticipating the fact that we are going to have some causes that want to be on a platform in the Netherlands or in the UK or in the US. And obviously they cannot pay you out into your South African bank account. It will take a lot of, um, of additional fees as well and it will be a difficult process for everyone. So these options of PayPal or WISE are there for that. When it comes to WISE, WISE doesn't actually support South Africa yet. So as a South African citizen, not not only a South African trust or charity, but just as a South African in general, they don't support us to have an account with WISE yet, even though WISE can be used to send money to South Africa. So this is something that is there because we also have people who are from other countries and they might be able to use WISE. Um, so for, for international, for now, PayPal would be a better option or Payoneer. Payoneer's fees are a bit less than PayPal, so that could be better. And Payoneer is very similar to WISE. You can also hold different currencies in your account and you can also get a card with that, like a debit card, and you could use that in South Africa and you can also use that in other countries. So um, Payoneer could be a good option if you wanted to not put your South African bank details. Another question from Sandra, how long will it take for the funds to reflect in our bank accounts and how does shop donation make money? Um, so when it comes to the payout process, maybe it's easier if I just explain it now. So when we uh, receive the funds from the retailers, there is a procedure. There are different thresholds that need to be reached. So for some shops or affiliate system. So we are connected to all of these retailers through a third party affiliate system. And they need us to reach a certain amount before they pay us out. And they also have a different kind of waiting period before they make those payouts. And this is because with online shopping, someone can cancel their purchase or their booking, someone can refund, ask for a refund or return their purchase. And um, so if that happens, then the donation or the commission will not be um, processed because you're getting your money back. So effectively you didn't actually make that purchase um, and, and give that money to the store. So the store is really, wanting to reward us when a purchase is made and when that is something that is obviously a successful purchase and if purchases are returned it doesn't work so to account for that uh, waiting period there is this lag before we actually receive those payouts and it sometimes takes a few months so because of this system of us not getting that um, commission directly we have a quarterly payout um, system. So I'll actually just share my screen quickly and show you where you can find this information. It's on the Shop Donation website. So there are four different payout dates per year. So I'm now on the FAQs um, menu on the Shop Donation website and there, there might be some answers to some of the questions in here as well. So if you want to, after the call, you can take a look at this page. But 
Under number three, when are the connect collected amounts paid out? You'll see that it says there are four payout dates per year, wherein the payment is made after a minimum of 300 Rand has been raised. So the reason why we have this 300 Rand minimum for causes is because, as I said before, we have a minimum that we need to raise as commissions before they pay us out. So we are not withholding any of that 300 Rand. Once you have reached 300 Rand or more, at the next payout date so for example between now and the first of january if you raise 300 rand or more we will pay you out what you are due um, on the first of january and so our other payout dates um first of april and september and then october july i'm sorry <laughs> july and then october so these are the four payout dates of the year and it breaks down also the um, the amounts of donations that you have raised between these periods are paid out in this period. So you will be able to see in your account how much you have raised um, to date, and you will also see the amounts that you've been paid out for already. So this will be clear for you. If you ever have any questions, you can you can reach out. Um, another thing that we're developing is actually a, a new website, like um in, in the the next few months as well that we're going to launch and a lot of the uh the systems of being able to track everything in your account will be much more intuitive much more simplified and much clearer in the new website so please wait for that or look out for that um but for now all of that information is here and then for the question on how does shop donation make money? So from the commissions that we receive, we keep a small portion of that and the rest we give as the donation. So the amount that you see on the website when it says, for example, booking.com giving 2.1% as a donation, that is the complete amount that you will receive as the donation. But in reality, booking.com gives a slightly larger percentage as a commission and that is what we keep to fund the platform so to keep that going we have a programmer who's obviously creating all of this and making sure that everything is running smoothly um, and and the rest of the team that we need to to look out for so that is how we make the money so it's again from the commissions it's not from anything that the shopper or the causes pay i hope that makes sense a question from Anita, can a shopper select or change to different causes when they shop in the event they support various causes or do you need more than one shopper account? Another good question. So you don't need more than one account um, every time you make a purchase in the same way that every time you choose a different store, if you're wanting to make purchases at different stores, every time you make a purchase, you can choose a different cause. So you have that option, you can always change it. You usually will have your default cause that you have selected before. So the previous time you used Shop Donation, especially if you are logged in, you will already have your cause selected, but you can change that at any point. How many people on average does it take to make a few thousands through Shop Donation? Also good question. So when it comes to our statistics and this is taken from the Dutch platform because in South Africa we are not as established to have good enough statistics to be able to project um, so in in general obviously shopping habits change some people might shop more often more frequently others might shop once a year through shop donation during Christmas season or making a hotel booking or something like that on average we could say that one shopper brings in about 50 Rand per month. So this is accounting for some shoppers that will bring in less and some shoppers that will bring in more. This is a, a rough estimate. So if you had a goal of 5,000 Rand a month, you would aim for 100 shoppers, 100 of your supporters to use Shop Donation for their various purchases throughout the year. And that's something that, again, as I say, it's a very rough estimation because some people may be purchasing more, some may be purchasing less. 
So it really, it really depends. If you do get people who are making big purchases, and again, this is uh, why I gave those examples of people making a big hotel booking for a group of people on a business trip or uh, anything that's really a bulk purchase, that can really generate a lot versus someone who's just making frequent small purchases, which still adds up over time, but obviously the amount will be smaller. So you can also have a strategy of really tapping into Maybe if you know someone who's running a business and they make frequent purchases for certain software, for example, like we have antivirus software or VPNs or that kind of thing also on Shop Donation and they give quite a big percentage um, for the donation there. So that can be a good strategy. Or if, again, if you know that someone is booking a lot of flights through Qatar or someone uses Travel Start often or um, any of the other airlines or booking uh, portals that we have, that can also be a bigger portion. And again, if that's a group booking, if that's for you know a whole office, something like that, that can really become a, a big amount. So unfortunately, I can't give you a set, um, a set amount or figure, but you can kind of calculate after you've used it for a while and you also see the habits of your your community and you see which stores they're also shopping at the most. Um, and yeah, hopefully we, we also tailor our strategy to that and we see, as I said, especially over peak shopping times to, to really promote your link more during that time because you know people are shopping more during that time. Um, also maybe around Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, more people are buying flowers. So really reminding people if you're using NetFlorist or Gifts.com or any of those other stores, please do that through our shop donation link. A question about how we can join the international shop donation platform. So as I said, this is something that we are working on to create an integration between all of the websites. We currently have the Dutch websites, one in Switzerland, one in South Korea and Mexico. And there's another in Brazil that is um, developing at the moment. So because we are a franchise, we have one person or a team to run that platform in that country it's it needs to be a local person who understands obviously the language but also the marketing the strategy of causes um, the shops that are available so this is something that it takes time for us to develop the full international network of shop donation being available in every country that does e-commerce that is our goal of course um, but it's something that it it does take a little bit of time so at this point i can um, in the email after the call that lucky sends out we can also link to all of the different platforms that are live at the moment that you can sign up to and you can already start using uh, those platforms for any followers or people that you have living in those countries. But at the moment, it is a manual thing where you will have to join dualshop.nl or shopdonation.ch in uh, Switzerland. Whereas when we have the international collect connection established, we will actually have one link. It will be a shopdonation.org link and then it will link to your cause and you will automatically be able to select that you want to be placed on all of the platforms and you you will just be placed um, in one second on all of the platforms without having to sign up individually like is the case right now. I will keep you updated about all of that. All right, thank you. Um, I think now we can move on to lucky trying to sign up as a cause and I'm sure this will make a lot more sense for all of you when you see the walkthrough. So lucky if you want to share your screen and head to shop donation just the home page is fine. Yes please. Ah uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay so great. What I had to do was to just go to all I had to do was to just go to www.shopdonation. That's uh, there. So this is where I am. Homepage. Where do I go from here? How do I register? So when you go by causes, you will see there's a drop down. 
that says register new cause. So the first option that you have. So you'll click on that, mm -hmm. register new cause. And there is a video, a walkthrough video that I've recorded already. If you later are unsure again, you can open that video and watch that step by step. But yeah. you have some additional information about um, the registration. And then you will see the form when you scroll down. Okay. All right. So, so first, the cause name is not the organization. Exactly. So the organization's name. So this is not your personal profile. You will have to make a personal account after, um, and we'll see that in real time when Lucky finishes the form. It will prompt you to make an admin account. So your admin account will be linked to your cause account, and you will be the administrator of that, the person who is signing up. But for this, your cause name is the name of your organization. Okay, okay and then... We'll call my buddy NPC. Huh? Great. So you will see underneath, it automatically fills in your link which is next to the shopdonation.co.za and then it puts in a, um, a slug we call it the short form of what you have put for your cause name if you want to make that different or you want to simplify it you can you can edit that second block as well and it will tell you if this name is already taken or if it is available like now it's available there's a green tick so that's fine then we go down okay. to where Good is question. your cause active? I, I, do I have to copy this link or is it going to be available? It will be available. Do I have to copy it? Yeah. Now? Okay. We can yeah. proceed. Okay. Yes. And just another thing on the name, you do want the link to be as easy as possible for people to remember. So try not mm -hmm. to make it a full description of what your cause does just a name it could also be like a shortened version of the name but something that people associate with your cause of course okay then we choose the countries where your cause is active you can choose multiple and then you will write a multiple. yes okay so here i am telling them about my organization right who like it by yes. is what we do Exactly. Okay. All right. And then category. Mm -hmm. Community. Support. So remember, we had the different categories of, of causes. Yes. So here you can also choose multiple if you fall under multiple categories. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Could be animals, could be arts and culture, could be education. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Lucky Buddy is um, a community development organization. So here, yeah, what are we doing? Do I want to so upload now, an image? Yes, so it's probably most effective if you have a logo for your um, organization and people associate you with that logo, then put your logo image. If you don't have a logo and you want to put a picture of maybe your cause in action, people doing work or, um, the, the founders or anyone that people are going to recognize something to represent your cause, you can upload that as your image here. Okay, I hope that's a, okay. a, an appropriate image that I, I selected. <laughs> so it said, I think there was a pop up that says it needs to be JPEG. Yeah, so, JPEG. yeah. And I don't have a JPEG image here. Okay. Okay, well. We've got that. We can we can sort oh, that actually, out later. You can. Mm -hmm. I should, be, should. Am I not? Should I? Should I not be able to to change it somewhere here? Let me see. I should be able. So to you change. can okay, you okay. can also always edit this information later. So once you've created your cause, maybe you want to fill in all of this and later choose your image or create your image. You can do that in your cause account later. So you can edit that at any time. So don't worry too much about this information being like fixed forever. You can change your description, you can change your um, your image and other details if you like. Okay. And then you Good put a kind of target amount here. Mm -hmm. 
yeah why does it ask me how much do i want to raise because i mean should, how do i determine that mm. like, explain the target why do i want to create yeah. a target so this is more just for an indication for your followers it's a kind of motivation if they're seeing that you are getting closer to your target and they want to support you to get to that amount um but it's it doesn't matter if you reach that or not if you go over that it's not like we're withholding any money if you are more than your target um so this is just a general indication for people and especially if you do have a goal in mind like you know that you want to later um, do some construction work on a school that your organization is part of something like that and you have a amount that would be like a, a great amount to achieve you can you can put that but again you can change this target amount at any time okay perfect so bank account number uh capital bank uh and then address <coughs> French code what's the what's the French code for capital it's uh, two seven five thousand something like that Account holder and the keyword. Okay, so yes, I think this is where the question account. about wise came up. Yeah. yeah, so this is something that yeah. internationally a lot of people are using in other countries. So it's a pop up that we have just in case. Okay, so this does not matter. I can still be able to no. sign up. All right, how do you want your course to be found publicly on shop donation? Excuse me. <clears throat> yes, I want my project to be found by everyone on the website. No. Yeah, I so want... I would I would advise everyone mm -hmm. to say yes if you want to be found on the website. If for some reason yeah. you don't want to be found on the website, you can click no and people can still find you through your link, but they just won't be able to search for you on the courses page so yeah if if someone wants to keep their course a little bit private maybe there's a personal um fundraiser that you're doing and you want to keep that more on the down low you could say no and people could still obviously use your link and shop for you it's just less public okay so how do you and you know it's very donations? important Yes, it's important for us that you fill this part in and say back about you for everyone who is on this call um, and everyone who receives the, the emails from Back Buddy to just say that you come from Back Buddy. It's, it's very good for us to know as well for our stats. Awesome. So I can say through a friend, I could say Facebook, whoever. Exactly, whatever. Google, whatever. Okay. And then we have the so you, privacy statement and the terms and conditions. If you click on those um, links, it will download for you. So you can read those and just make sure that, you know, you agree. It's it's the standard kind of, um, yeah, agreements that, that we have. Nothing crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once I've accepted that, I can now create a new cause. Okay, yes. which user account should you connect to cause? So now you're being prompted to create a personal admin account that is going to be connected to your cause account. So this one, um, you would go, I'm new because you don't have an account yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, this there is like, okay. I thought it was an mm. I'm new. Okay, so let's use uh, the keyword. Let's choose a password. Upload. Do I have to? Is this compulsory? No, you, it's, it's optional. Yeah. You don't need to put a photo. Okay. okay. Do I want to receive exclusive promotions and updates? Yes, no. Okay. And then I do I register with email? What, what's what are you saying here? Yes. So I think on the top, you have to just put a normal um name without any icons but there are no icons it's like you would make you a gmail.com let's use mm, the, the, the at. Like you would... 
Oh, yeah. just my name. Thank you. No space, just like you, and then okay. All right. Register with email. I'm okay, and so yes, do the robot recapture, and then you can register with email. If you wanted to register with Facebook, you could do that too. <coughs> And then with that email address, you would need to open it and find your OTP. So you'll be sent an email with an OTP code. And then you put that in. Okay. Hopefully this email is easy to access for you now, Lucky. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for the OTP to come through. There we okay. go, seven. Awesome. <clears throat> seven, nine, one, nine. Four three. Thirty five. Good one, let me. Nine, one, nine, four three. Oh, there we are. My project okay. has been created. I can now start shopping. Yay. Yes. Great, so now if you look on the top right, it will say Lucky Way. You can look on the, the drop down. Yes, mm -hmm. there we go, that arrow. And then if you go to my overview, this is basically your account, your account settings. So once you open this, it will give you the information about your cause and also your personal profile so if you wanted to at a later stage change your username or your email address your password or if you wanted to change any information about your organization your cause page you can do that here and you'll also see later once purchases are made for your cause on the bottom um, it will show you the purchases that have been made and the amounts, it will show you the shops that it came from, but it won't show you the users that made those purchases. So we protect the user's privacy there, but it's a, a good overview for you to see all of the purchases that have been made. And you can also then see um, on the causes page, you'll be able to find your cause as well. So if you head to causes, Lucky, on the top, Well, yeah. There we go, yeah. So you can just click on causes itself, so not the drop down, just, yeah. Okay. My internet is slow. Okay, no problem. Apologies. <laughs> well, but uh, what I've seen is that it's quite very short. The forms are very short, it's easy to sign up. Mm. Uh, yes because how many minutes less than five minutes so that that's good because yeah, i, I know charities do not like the charities you don't send them two pages worth of forms they they do not they do not no, have no, no. they do not have time. yeah and the fact that it's instant is also nice so if you there's no lag period it's yeah. it's already on the platform if you want to make any changes you can do that very quickly very easily Okay, so now if you scroll, so you 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 see that your cause is selected. Good. So it will automatically, after you've created a cause associated with your admin account, it will have your cause chosen. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, I think because you are the most recent cause that's made, you would be on the last page. So if we go to page two, There, there we are. go. So that that course. So if you click on the, the image, it will open your course information page, and that's where people will see your description and the categories that you chose. Okay. So if a, a, a shopper randomly comes in here, if a shopper registers <laughs> as a shopper, they're able to see all these courses and select any course. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And. A shopper also doesn't need to register if they want to stay anonymous. Someone can just arrive at shop donation without signing in or making a 
a profile and they can still shop and use the platform so they can see all of this information as well. The only difference is that they don't receive a confirmation email. So the cause will receive a confirmation confirmation email after the purchase is made for them. But if a shopper is not logged in, we of course don't have their email, so we can't send that confirmation email to them. But some people might prefer to shop anonymously to um, not have their shopping habits known by anyone. Um, it's not really displayed that much on the website. I think once or twice on the home page, you would see re recent purchases for a specific cause and um, the username of that shopper is displayed there, but everywhere else on the website, it's not displayed. So that's something that is up to the discretion of the shopper if they want to log in or not. Also, they can make their username something that is abstract, that people don't know who they are. Um, but yes, does anyone have any additional questions? I see in the, in the chat there are some here, so we can go through that. Um, can you share the link for the shop donation in our website? Yes, I can do that. So again, we'll put that all in the email um, that Lucky sends out after the workshop, but I'll just put the the link on the bottom. So it's dualshop.nl. Quick question, Kirsten. About, about my link, where's my link mm -hmm. now? Because I want to copy my link and put it on WhatsApp. Uh, yes, somewhere. yes, yes, so where's yes. So mm -hmm. when you go to your, on the top, by your admin account, your My Overview. Mm -hmm. uh, so by My Cause, if you scroll down. Where? So just scroll, yeah, okay, scroll sure. down a little bit further and then you'll see Project URL. So above um, Target Amount, under Location, so you see Project URL. So go, go a little bit further up. Well, a I little bit more. <laughs> so just <laughs> just scroll a little bit more up. Okay, well, so yeah, we see project URL. Yeah. yeah. So that is your okay. URL. So that's what okay. you will use to promote. Perfect. So again, as I've said before, we wanted to also go through how you're going to promote. And if once you have registered, you'll receive an email. So Lucky should have received an email in her admin account. Um, and it will give you the next steps, basically. It will give you a whole breakdown of how you can promote your link. And one of the uh, the links that are in that email is to the promotions toolkit. So if we go to the causes drop down again, Lucky, on the top menu, and we go to promotion tips. Okay, my mouse has stopped working. My mouse has stopped working. Do you want me I to can also share. Screen, you I can share my screen. Yeah, sure. Yes, please. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, so we go to the top here by causes and the drop down promotion tips. So it's the last option. So we click that. Did everyone see that? I'm not sure if the presenting was working at that time. So again, under causes, the drop down, promotion tips, and you will also receive this link in the email after you register. Okay, so here we have all of the steps that you can follow if you do these you will be sorted with your promotion. So you don't have to think about how am I going to do this? We've laid it all out for you step by step. So the first uh, step is to create and promote your link. So you've created your link already now that you've signed up and we want to promote this. Again, we need to tell our supporters about this link. So the same as with your backer buddy link, if no one knows about it, no one's going to use it. So here we need to think about all of the ways or the, the places that we want to do this promotion. Um, so one of the places could be through your social media. And we have some 
example texts that we've also written out. So for you to explain this whole system to your followers, it might feel like a, a little bit daunting. Um, so you don't have to worry, we have created these texts here. So first you could just you know, use number one or number two or number three, and you can use these in your emails as well, your newsletter, um, any kind of communications that you have with your supporters. We also have some images that you can download and use as well. And so when you click the download button, it will automatically download this image or this image over here. And then we have some banners and also an example text that you could use on your website if you wanted to put a banner on your website so people can link uh, directly when they click on that banner to your shop donation link. And that could be a useful way as well. So you can download the banner here. And we have all of these steps of how to customize this banner to have, instead of forward slash project name, to have forward slash backer buddy or lucky or whatever we have as our cause link. So we have um, two options. If you want to use paint.net or photop.com, these are both free and they are the same basically as Photoshop. If you have Photoshop as well, you could use that. So we've got the fonts, the sizes, the colors, everything. You just follow these steps in order to change that. If you do have any trouble with this and you need help, you can always reach out to me. I can help you with this as well. Um, if you have a design team or something, it might be easy to, to give this to them because they would be more used to using these programs. We also have example text that you can download as PDF, and this is text that you can put on your website to explain shop donation to your followers. Here we have a flyer. So this, again, we have the um, part where you would need to share your specific URL and put your name, your the name of your course here. So again, we have the steps of how to do this. So if you follow those steps, you should be able to create and customize this quite easily. So you download it here. And the flyer can be printed out as well. So if you wanted to print this in your office or you wanted to print it anywhere um, and hand it out to people at an event or something like that, it's also optimized for like poster format. Um, and it has the logos of some of the popular stores that you can use on Shop Donation. So that can also be useful for people to see a quick overview of some of the stores. Another tip is to send an introduction email. So again, we've written it all for you. You can just copy paste it. And if you want to change some wording or optimize that for your project, you can, of course, do that. As we spoke about before, some kinds of bigger business purchases or corporate purchases can be very effective in, um, in utilizing to really give yourself more bigger donations than just the, the small routine shopping. Um, so we have some tips also on how you can leverage your business network. And also we have a page specifically about business purchases. So we also have some categories of shops um, that are more business orientated. It could be, as I said before, like software, email software, um, antivirus, things like that, or office supplies. So we could see which, which stores are appropriate to use for business and you could make routine business purchases through shop donation. Another tip is to put your shop donation link in your email signature. So this is nice because people already, when they receive your email, then they might read on the bottom. By the way, you can support us through shop donation. Um, use this link and you pay the same amount at any of the affiliated retailers. So we've again got the text um, here for you and you'll just need to put, of course, your specific cause link. 
we have some tips, tips and tricks from the most successful courses, especially what we've seen that works in the Netherlands. So really honing in on who shops frequently online. It might also be a younger audience, or it might be someone who um, is very tech savvy and really prefers to shop online rather than in person. So try to find those people in your network and tell them about your shop donation link. Reminding your followers is also very useful. So as we've said before, in a newsletter, if it's once every few months, um, and then especially around the, the popular periods to shop. So these shopping seasons of Christmas, Black Friday, and December period. Also, as we said before, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, that sort of thing. We also have the types of purchases that typically have bigger donation percentages. So online services, electronics, if you click on any of these, it will take you to the shops page with that category selected and it will filter out the, the stores that are appropriate to these kinds of categories. So if you wanted to ask your followers to subscribe to Shop Donations newsletter as well. If you wanted to use the Shop Donation logo for anything um, if you're making a post you can download these two options here and it can also be a, a good reminder for people if they bookmark then your link already in their browser so if they always use google chrome for example and they see on their bookmarks bar your shop donation link that's like a daily reminder for them to remember to use shop donation so that can be very useful uh, we also have a collaboration with World Fair, so this is something you can read about. This is a different project that is also run by my partner, who's the founder of Shop Donation, and he's um, wanting to create videos for causes or causes to send through their videos and to be able to make money from the viewers that are watching um, the videos on YouTube. So from YouTube ad, ad income to use that as another fundraising tool. So this is something that is also being worked on. So if you want to read more about that, there's an opportunity to be featured on World Fair too. All right, I hope that is clear for everyone when it comes to the promotion material. I'm just gonna see if there are any other questions I know we're coming close to the end point. Everyone's been very attentive. And I know it's an information overload a little bit, but I hope that all of your questions can be answered. If not, you can always reach out to me. Um, I'll put my email in the chat. But again, a lot of the FAQs or a lot of the information is also on the shop donation website. So if you want to navigate through that, you might be able to answer some of the questions. Uh, the, uh, the question from Zena, may we use your logo imaging to promote shop donation to our supporters? Of course. So as I've said, you, you can download that on the promotions page. If we reach our target amount, can we update it to a new target? Absolutely. Where do I find the affiliate code? Is there one? I'm not sure what is meant by this with matrix men. Um, so the is the affiliate code the cause link? Because that, that's really the only link that you need to, to have and to promote. All of the affiliate codes that we use, which are associated with the shops, that's, that's all embedded in the website programming. That's not anything that you need to worry about. So as long as you have your cause link, you you have everything that you need to send people to shop donations, selecting your cause and shopping for you. If someone doesn't use your co your cause link, they can still find your cause on the shop donation platform. So some people might do that. They just search for your cause name and then you will come up for them to select as well. If I want to shop, can I do it through my cause account or do I have to create a personal account? No, you can do it through your cause account. So as we've seen when Lucky, after Lucky created her uh, user account that is attached to her cause account, so her admin page, she already had her cause selected and she can shop from that account. So yeah, it's, it's really, um, 
you, you can also from your admin page choose another cause. So if you for some reason didn't want to support your own cause and you have a friend who also has a cause on Shop Donation, you can change that cause for that purchase and you can shop for them as well. So your admin account is exactly the same to any other user account. It's just connected to your cause where you'll receive the emails about the donations that come in for your cause at that email address. So that's all the, the admin account is. Um, how is the order of causes in the causes list determined, i.e. which causes are at the top of the list? So good question. We, we don't really have a set um, reason for putting certain causes above others. There um, is an automatic kind of uh, filling in when someone, so as you see, when Lucky was the most recent cause, she was the last cause on the list because that, that's just how the website fills in. Um, but if you are wanting additional exposure, um, I'm happy if you reach out to me, I will put you on page one, for example, when there are more causes and there's like page seven or eight, it will be more difficult, of course, for people to come across you at that point. Um, I'm very happy to switch those around at any time and to give different causes exposure, especially if you're also utilizing your link a lot and you're really promoting it to your followers, it's great to have you on the first page because people will see that you've been raising um, more funds. So yeah, there's, there's really no kind of strategy behind that and it can change at any time. Uh, what measures do you have in place to verify NPO? So this is a good, a very good question. We actually don't have a vetting period or a vetting process like BackerBuddy does. Um, this is also really nice for us to partner with BackerBuddy because I know that BackerBuddy has a very good um, procedure or they, they take good measures to verify their NPOs. For us, we found that if somebody is making kind of like a fake project, people generally won't really shop for them. Um, so if someone has an engaged following and they are, of course, you know, a, a real foundation, everyone knows them, people will be very happy to support them. And as I said before, 90% of shoppers who are using Shop Donation are already affiliated with a cause. They're a donor, they're a supporter, or they know they want to come to Shop Donation to support a specific cause. So there's very few people that come to Shop Donation and are now just looking through the cause list to find who they want to support. And so because that's kind of how the nature of Shop Donation is, if someone wasn't really like a legit cause, they wouldn't they wouldn't raise a lot of money at all. And it's also not a very effective way for someone who is fake to raise money because there are things called cashback platforms which are completely legal and if someone used a cashback website they could also raise money for themselves through online shopping um so yeah it really doesn't make sense for people to not be legit when they sign up on shop donation the channels that we go through as well is very much through uh, associations and organizations that we know are um you know, very trustworthy. Uh, a lot of the courses that do join, we we have a call as well before they join. Um, it's not necessary, but it's preferable just to also be able to to know, get to know each other, and to be there to support each other. And I do want to be there to support the the founders behind the courses. So, because I've had calls with almost everyone who registers on Shop Donation, that is sort of the vetting process in and of itself. Um, there have been one or two courses that have signed up and I've seen it It doesn't seem like a real cause. Um, I can also reach out to that person and we'll just delete it if it doesn't seem like it's legit. To which account should they connect our cause when asked? So when you sign up your cause, it will give that pop-up um, that we saw that Lucky had because she didn't have an account yet. She clicked I'm new and put in a, an email address and her username details and that would be linked with her cause account. If you have already registered as a user and you want to connect that to your cause account then you can um, 
click on the, I think it was the sign in button. There were two options. So if you click onto that, put in your details, it will um, connect you to that. Um, you, it will connect that account to your cause. So it, it's really up to you. You need to be the person who is administering the page. So whoever in your organization wants to take that up, that could be the person who's behind the fundraising or it could be the founder. It really depends on um, who you want to assign that duty to. All right, um, does anyone have any additional questions before we close? And I've taken the full one and a half hours. I'm assuming there are no more questions. Thank you so much for that amazing presentation, Kasten. I can you guys hear me? My my connection is really bad. Yes, uh, as my I can audio hear you. coming through. Perfect. Before we let you all go, we thought we should just share a few exciting things that are happening at Becky Buddy. The first one being the fact that we have recently launched our zero percent platform um, a fee for all charities registered on Becky Buddy. I know that most of you already know this. Um, uh, in the past, charities used to pay five percent, um, yeah, a five five percent commission and a uh, vet. Uh, for, for for registering on Becky Buddy, but now you don't pay anything. The only thing that you pay once you raise funds on our platform is the other transfer or the third party banking fees. We are very chuffed about this, and we are very excited for our charities. And another thing that's not out there yet is that we are launching a new platform soon in the next few weeks. We have been working on this for months and years. And we will be launching very soon. It is so beautiful. It is so easy to use. And we believe it's going to make your lives very easy. And we are very excited to share that with you guys soon. Otherwise, thank you so much for taking the time to join us um, for this workshop. And we hope that it's a value add for you guys. And uh, we've, we also have a new strategy, a, a new donor retention strategy, where we encourage our charities to constantly communicate with their donors uh give them updates tell them what you've done with the funds that they've supported you just thank them because what we found is that charities are constantly asking well that's what we do as charities we want sponsorships we want help we want help but with our new donor retention strategy we are telling you to send them the updates ask them to to to, to share your campaign instead of asking them to donate and i think um what shop donation has introduced to you today would also be a great value add for your donors. So for instance, this December, instead of asking them to donate to you, just tell them that when you are doing your Christmas shopping, when you're, sh when you're buying gifts for your family this December, please remember us and shop through shop donation. And I think that would be another way of just showing your donors that uh, we are not always asking. <laughs> well, it's an ask, but not really, because we will not be paying more than what you would be paying for your flowers or for your booking or for whatever it is that you will be spending on this December. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, that is it from Rebecca Buddy and Shop Donation. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Thanks, everyone. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We will be in touch. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Bye.